Epic Ethics. <laughs> Is it true? Is it fair? Will it be helpful to those involved? Will it help build community and better friendships? <whistles> Come on, let's go! And now the story of Br'er Bear's Big House, an African-American folktale. Of all the critters, old Br'er Bear had the biggest and the warmest house. I don't know why nor wherefore, but I'm a-telling you the plain fact, just as they told it unto me. Well, old Br'er Bear had the big house I'm telling you about, and man oh man did he brag about it. What about? I can't say that. His house was big, because Br'er Bear and every single bear in his family is big too. So, that's just what we had. A big house and plenty of room for him and his family. And he never had more than he needed. Cause all of his family was good and fat. And had what folks call natural plumpness. Now, Br'er Bear had a son named Simon. And a last name Sue. Not counting his lady. And they all lived with one another day after day. And night after night. And when one of them went abroad they'd be expected home about mealtime, if not before. And they sagatuated right along from day to day, washing their face and hands in the same wash pan in the back porch and wiping on the same towel, same as all happy families always does. Well, time went on and fetched the changes that might be expected. And one day there came a mighty knocking on Br'er Bear's door. Br'er Bear, he hollered out, who comes a-knockin' this time of the year? For the corn's already been planted and the cotton crop's pitched. The one at the door made a big noise and rattled the hinges. Br'er Bear hollered out, Don't tear down my house! Who are you, anyhow? What do you want? And the answer came, I'm one and therefore not two. If you are more than one, who are you? And what are you doing in there? Briar Bear, he said, I'm only one. And I'd thank you for telling me your full family name. Then the answer came, I'm the knocker and the mover both. And if I can't climb over, I'll crawl under if you do. But give me the word. Some call me Br'er Polecat. Others refer to me as Br'er Skunk. And some a big word that ain't worthwhile to remember. But hear me now. I want to move in with you all. It's mighty cold out here. And everyone I meet tells me it's mighty warm in there with you. Then old Br'er Bear said, It's warm enough for all who stay in here. But not so much for those who stay outside. What do you really want? Br'er Polecat replied, I want many things I don't have. I'm a mighty good housekeeper. But few folks want me to keep house for them. Br'er Bear said, I got no room for no housekeeper. We ain't scarcely got room to sleep. Go ahead and keep my house on the outside. You are mighty welcome, Br'er Polecat. Br'er Polecat said, You may think you don't have any room, but I bet you have just as much room as anybody I know. If you let me just once, I bound you I'll make all the room I could ever need and you could ever dream of. Br'er Polecat stepped inside Br'er Bear's house, and as soon as he did, the stench that followed consumed the room. All present scrimmaged towards the door, and Br'er Polecat stayed within till time stopped running against him. The end. Discussion questions. In what ways did Br'er Bear welcome community? In what ways did he not?
How can we avoid being taken advantage of by others? Have you ever regretted being kind to someone? Explain. How can we be nice to others after someone has not been nice to us? Why do you think Br'er Polecat acts the way he does? Tell of a time when you welcomed a friend into your house and felt that they did not take good care of it. How did you deal with your friend? This has been an Epic Ethics production. We'd like to thank Rotary District 5450 and all of our friends for watching. And we'd like to thank my mom. And we'd like to thank my dad. And we'd like to thank my pet, Roly Poly. And we'd like to thank the Tooth Fairy and the Forest for making tasty...